All right, so I'm doing some work here. Like, I'd say 10, 15 minutes that direction. There was an incident. Crane fell over on some power lines. Someone died. A man died earlier today in a crane accident. This was the scene shortly after the incident at a home at the corner of San Filippo Drive and Valencia Street. Watch News tonight. Gabber Gattigas says a look at what likely happened and the effect on the neighborhood. We're learning the name of the man who died. Palm Bay police say Kester Giddens was 34 years old. The call came in around 930 this morning. When crews arrived, they found the cab of the crane on fire and Giddens on the ground next to it. The crane was in the process of putting trusses on the roof of this home that is under construction you see there. And police say that's when the crane accidentally touched the power lines, causing the cab to catch fire. OSHA is also here investigating. Florida Power and Light tells us this caused 160 of its customers to lose power. More than 100 families are still without power. Fox 35's Esther Bauer is live at the scene tonight in Palm Bay. So Esther, some roads have been blocked for hours now. This accident happened at 930 in the morning and crews are struggling to make progress. Now, just moments ago, we learned the identity of the man who died. He is identified as Kester Gittins. I do want to show you just how active this scene is. So right behind me, we have some crews that are up here trying to repair all of those damaged power lines. Other crews are also working to remove the massive crane where a worker lost his life. Kaboom, sound like a bomb went off. Black smoke filled the air as neighbors watched in disbelief. Palm Bay police say a crane operator was working on new construction at San Filippo Drive and Valencia Street when the machine ran into live power lines. The worker died on scene. This is just an unfortunate accident, but with all the new construction going on, um, you know, I hope that this is, our, our hope is that this is the only one that we ever have to respond to again. They're calling it an accident, but that could change when... OSHA, fire department, medical examiner and then the PD review. Numerous workers came out to the scene on Wednesday and many are devastated. They're not expecting power to be turned on until 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. It's almost six o'clock at night and they're still working on this. On this intersection right here, this has been closed off because of the incident that happened here. I'm assuming this is what the man who lost his life yesterday was here to deliver. The crane was here and I'm curious as to what had happened because it shows the crane was extended out and it fell on power lines here and yeah it took all day yesterday for for them to remove the crane and get the power back on and get everything back up and running i think it was like right over here you had the news team doing their you know reporting as you can see there's still wire caught into it so I'm wondering if this is the load that he was unloading that got caught onto the power lines. You never know what, what could happen. It's just sad to hear. Tragic moment.